Okay, so today I'm going to apply for the homestead tax exemption. And uh, before I go, I need to complete the application. So I'm going to do that online on my computer. And I'm going to share my screen and show you how to get there. Okay. Oh, something went wrong with me typing up the application so i am doing it by hand right here and it asked me for the date the property was purchased so i went and grabbed all of the closing paperwork this is all of this is closing paperwork so i went and grabbed that so i would have official dates and stuff i knew it was april 1st but just in case it asked me for something else that i don't that needs to be accurate I wanted to have it. So that's a tip. Have your closing paperwork. I'm going to take it with me. Just in case I need some sort of proof when I get there. Only one person at a time, so I gotta wait out here. I'm in the right, wrong place. It says, please apply for homestead exemption at, in the tax commission's office. They can assist you with homestead application. The office is on the hall. It says property tax. It says planning and zoning. Staff only. Maybe I went down the wrong hole. Hey, Hello, <laughs> I'm talking to myself. How about you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Last door on the left, so I went down the wrong way. Okay. Past the stairway. That's where I came. Last door on the left. Okay. But Saturday morning, hey. completely broken. So this is it. Okay. Oh, I didn't bring him. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is this one is different than ours. This is it's not the county one. Okay, you want me? Looks a little different. You wanna give me yours? Yeah. Well, if you can get me, it's the numbers. The, the numbers that make me nervous. So if you can help me fill out the important stuff, I can go get his signature and bring it back. Apply for this year? 2022. Okay. Because we've had the house two years. We didn't know anything about it. And Yeah. And we were hoping we could apply it to last year because let me tell you what happened. Henry County came out to our house. And they said that the only thing that they showed was land. They didn't show the, the they didn't, house on the land? They didn't show the house on the land. Okay, and we closed April of 2019. And we had to get Henry County to approve inspections and all of that stuff. It's a manufactured home. So now they're threatening to put a lien on us. We've been paying escrow, but escrow paid $173 last year because all that, that's all they taxed them was for the land. All right, so, what? so now we got a $3,000 so bill. The, did you ever go to the county to see if, the, if they ever recorded your deed or anything? We thought, see, we got a land home package and we thought all of that was taken care of. Most of the stuff that has to happen with us is okay. happening. I was in there all of 10 minutes. So the form that I got online was actually for the state, not the county. And 
I bought all of this paperwork because it was asking about income, it was asking about closing and all of that stuff. And I didn't fill it out at home because it was telling you to deduct this from that and do this with that. And I didn't want to get it wrong. So I came on down to the tax assessor's office to get them to help me with it. And she took one look at the form and said I had the wrong form. She gave me a one page form and told me to take it home and fill it out because my husband has a sign too. His name is on the, on the, uh, you know, we're, our, our names are on everything together. So, and all I need is a copy of our tag registration to prove that we live in the house. Don't need any income information, none of that. We don't need it. So, she did say that if you own property, you have to list all the property and it has to be in your name. But that's only if it has a house on it, not if it has land. So, I have 14 acres, uh, a portion of, of 14. Uh, my grandparents left my dad 14 acres of land and I own a quarter of it because it's four of us. His, his two brothers, his sister and me. I, I now own his portion. And then a couple pieces of property from when my grandfather passed away. So there's no house on any of it. So I don't have to worry about that. And um, that's it. Just bring a copy of our tag registration, both signatures, a copy of both IDs and the paperwork. So I'm gonna do that today, get all that together, bring it back down here in the morning. So, got that done. Now, we have done the tax assessor's office. We are right down the street from the tire company, so I'm gonna go there now and check on the tires. Hey family, I was sitting here editing the video. Don't worry about that stuff. <laughs> I'm always in some form of disarray. I was sitting here editing a video and I realized that how I left you. So I just wanted to explain that um, the purpose of me filing for the homestead tax exemption was to get a discount from our yearly property tax. It's available to anybody that owns property that has a house on it and the requirements are different for every state so you just have to google homestead tax exemption in and then put your state to see what the requirements are and see how you can apply what you'll need to apply and where you go um so a few weeks prior to us contacting the mortgage company some inspectors from our county came out and said they only showed land and that we were paying property taxes for land. So they assessed the whole property and we got a letter in the mail saying that we owe $1,200 from 2020 and that we would be owing $1,800 uh, for 2021. And the reason that it jumped. Hold up. Wait a minute. I left out some important information here regarding why the difference was so significant. It was $1,400, our property tax in 2020, and in 2021, it jumped to eighteen, almost $1,900. The reason that it jumped was because our house was valued at $85,000. First of all, we purchased the home for $60,000 in 2019 it was valued at 87,000 in 2020 and then it was valued at 115,000 in 2021 now they're not making numbers up we've done a lot to add value to our property the steps and decks the stairways that led up to the steps and decks the tool shed in the back the landscaping all of the things that we've done to add to the home, even the gutters that we put on the house. We've just added value to our home. So when people tell you that you, you're you purchasing a mobile home, you're not going to increase the value of your home and your property, that's a lie. 
okay? You take care of your manufactured home and your property like you would any other home, and the value of that home is going to increase. It was actually 1400 but we were billed $173, and that's what the mortgage company paid for 2020 was 173 So we had to, we owe the difference, and they were threatening to put a lien on us for $1,200. Plus, we were going to owe 1800 in 2021. And because of the value that was placed on the home in the beginning, we only had like $600 in escrow. So after the escrow, we owe like $3,000. And that different ha difference has to be paid um, up or it will cause the mortgage to go higher. So we elected to just pay it. Um, once you pay it off, your mortgage goes back to what it is and all of that is factored into the escrow. Now, um, with the homestead exemption starting next year, we shouldn't see a problem with owing overage because the homestead exemption qualifies us for a deduction of 2000 for the year. And if our mortgage, um, excuse me, if our property tax stays under 2000 then we won't owe anything. Um, so... Okay, so we apply for the homestead. We won't um, see it until next year. We're good to go on that score. The back taxes, uh, the mortgage company paid paid it up. They paid the 2020, the lien. None of that is going to happen because they acted like that. They took care of it before they even knew if we were going to take care of it or just see an increase. So they took care of that. There are... 2021 property taxes are due in November. That's already set to be paid. Not a problem. Um, it would have been paid regardless of whether we had paid the 3000 or if we had the option was to pay it all off, do a payment arrangement, and then you can determine if you want 12 months, 24 months, or 36 months. Or, or take the payment arrangement, but pay in lump sums. Like you can set a payment arrangement for the next three years, but every couple months give them $500. It's no interest charged on it. And then once it's paid off, it's just paid off. So those are some options if you find yourself in that situation. So we got all of that taken care of, which was a big relief. Wish we had had of known to apply for the homestead before then so i just wanted to make a video because if this this is something that would can help you then i want you to know about it so you can take care of it we went to our county's tax assessor office but before we went we went online to the county tax assessor's office and read all about it i did print the wrong paperwork off so if that happens, your county will tell you the correct paperwork and what you need to apply for your homestead loan. So I hope that's been helpful for you. I hope that this will benefit you in your mobile home purchasing journey. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. Cause I heard him first. I said, hold on. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Cause 